Hi, I'm Phil and I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Quick Basic 4.5 for use with DOSBox. Alright, so first let's find a distribution of Microsoft Quick Basic and for that I use Google. The first link, the one from fedcode.net, is the one I ended up with. Um, here's the zip file, it's a very short and small download. So I save it here on my H drive and let's have a look at it and let's extract everything here. So I can delete now the zip file and also this one fedcode.exe I don't trust uh, foreign exe files so let's get rid of this. Okay uh, now we have to make a folder that we will mount with DOSBox to use as our DOS uh, source drive. This is the drive where we will install QuickBasic into. So I make here a new folder and let's title it just DOS. And here comes the interesting part for the installation. I also make a new folder which I just call QB setup or something. So I move now disk 1 and disk 2 into the setup folder and here comes the magic. I select everything from here, cut it, paste it here and also everything from disk 2. Select everything, cut and paste. Now we don't need this disk 1 and 2 folders. So everything that was inside this disk 1 and 2 folders is now here inside one folder which is called QB setup. Okay, let's start DOSBox and mount our virtual DOS disk drive to C. So I do this by typing mount C and I want to mount uh, H colon backslash DOS as our C drive. So there's nothing in here as you can see and if I go here now to C and list the directory, yeah, it's empty. But we want to install from this one here and let's mount this as our virtual uh, disk drive. And just say it's mount and mount it to A, which is, if you remember, A was the uh, floppy drive of the old uh, yeah, DOS. So uh, I mount the folder H, the colon, backslash, and here comes QB setup as our drive A. So if I change now to drive A and list the directory, that is everything that is in here. And you see we have here a little setup.exe file. And let's just run this. Oh, oops, setup. And here we have the installation. So I just hit continue, run the easy setup, and perform the easy installation. So it says now here uh, to install the floppy setup Microsoft QB Express in drive A. And this is the reason why we mounted uh, the folder QB setup as A. So I just can hit continue, create path, and just hit enter until. Uh, of the setup is complete. So it's copying and extracting now everything from this setup directory uh, into this QB 4.5 folder. So everything is complete now, so I say return to main menu and exit. So every time I mount my C drive now to this here H DOS, I see this QB Four five directory. So let's enter it. QB four five and just type QB. And here we are. Microsoft Quick Basic. So let's say print. Hello world. And clear the screen. Run it and it works. Sometimes you want to load your own programs you have and you want probably to run this inside this virtual environment. And you can do this easily by just having a, a, a folder here inside your, your DOS box drive. I use, uh, let's, let's create a new one. I call this my progs. Uh, be sure not to have folder names that are longer than eight characters. You know, it's still good old DOS, so. And if you have here now a new basic program, I just make a new text file and then in it test. And let's say clear screen, color 12, let's make it red and say print. This is my old program. Save it. Oh, the encoding has to be NZ. 
but you probably don't want to create new basic files from scratch uh, inside a text editor. So um, if I hit now file and open program, um, you see here in the directory listing our new directory is not there because we have to remount C again. So let's do this. So I exit now quick basic. And to unmount a drive in DOSBox, just type mount and minus U. U means unmount and our C partition. So drive C has successfully been removed. So and let's mount it again. So mount C and the drive I want to mount is HDOS. Let's go here and go to QBasic and if I um, list now the directories you will see here is the MyProgs directory. So let's open QBasic and here we have my little test program and yes it works. So this is how to install and run Microsoft Quick Basic 4.5 in DOSBox. Every time you want to come back to it, um, you just have to mount the drive where you installed Microsoft Quick Basic. In my case, it's here on HDOS. You just have to remount it again and you're good to go. So that was it. Thanks for watching and maybe see you soon. Bye.